Hi everyone, it's Renee. Today I wanted to share with you another home decor type video. And this time we're going to be working with another bottle of wine. Previously I made one and I got a lot of positive feedback. First thing we need is obviously our clean and dry bottle of wine. And I'm going to actually remove the lid by just washing it with some soap and water and just removing it with my fingers. Then I'm going to remove this thing that my bottle has so it can open and close. I don't really know what's the name of it, but I'm going to be removing it with some cutters and then my pliers to just make sure if everything is just pure glass. The type of paint I'm going to be using is acrylic paint. I'm going to be using white acrylic paint and I'm not going to be using any primer. If you do this at home and if you prefer, you know, you can always add some primer first. But I'm, in this case, I'm not going to go do it. I'm just going to go and paint the whole bottle, making sure I cover everything. Bottom, top, and I'm going to give this a couple of coats actually to make sure everything is just nice, even, and really, really white. Oh, and I forgot, if you prefer, you can always work with one of those uh, spray paints. I didn't have anything, I just had acrylic paint, and as always, I just like to work with what I have. Once my bottle is white, 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 I'm just going to go with my black and I'm going to just start making the spots of the cow. These are supposed to be cows, by the way. And I'm first working on the outline, as you can see, and then filling the whole thing. And if you're not sure of how those spots look in, you know, cows, you can always search online, of course, for some images so you can have a clear idea of how those spots are. Size is optional, quantity is optional, and pretty much everything is optional. Even if it's optional, the color that you use you can always go for a rainbow palette to make it look like a, you know, colorful, something really summery. I don't really know. I just went for the standard cow because of what I'm going to be doing after this one. Here I'm just showing you how I did in the kind of a the random spot on the top. And then I'm just going to seal the whole thing with a satin finish. I didn't want to go for a gloss finish because I didn't want it to be like super glossy. But I just want it to be protected, so that's why I chose the satin. And it gives like a kind of a glow, a real subtle glow. And this is it for the cow itself. I made another one just to make it contrasting. And that's why I told you before I chose black and white because this one is going to be black and white again. But the back hair is going to be black, again doing the same thing going for a couple of coats and then my spots are going to be white but for this thing because my base is black and when you put white over a black background you have to go several times several coats so i just did that three or four times to be honest and then i just let it dry then i did the same thing protected the whole thing with my satin finish and then for the flower itself i chose some sunflowers because i like them i chose some fake flowers because it's easier for me to handle them but when you buy them most of the times the stem part is like super long so you just have to measure how much of flower you want to be going out of your bottle so just measure that and i did that before with the other one so i just cut it equally so they would be even and I just cut them with my cutters and I just loved how this ones turn out because and they complement but they kind of opposite at the same time so let me know if you like these ideas I have a lot of uh, bottles of wine well I, not that I drink a lot of wine but for some reason I do have a lot of bottles I am always recollecting you know pieces that nobody wants making something else out of them so anyways I hope you like it I hope you give it a try it's honestly super fun and effective and affordable and it's going to brighten up any room where you put this in. I'm just going to place them on my kitchen. That's why I chose the cow team. Because I think the cows always look really cute in kitchens. Anyways, I'm super rumbly. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more stuff. And I'll talk to you later.